The first son, General Kainerugaba, clarifies that he's not at war with his father. Hello, welcome, and thanks for joining us live on Projan Media TV for your latest updates, latest news happening in the country and across the world. So if you haven't subscribed yet, kindly do, and don't forget to turn on the notification button for all these updates. Well, let's take more look into some of these details. The first son of Uganda, General Muhozi Kainerugawa, has dispelled rumors that he is at war with his father, President Yoweri Kaguta Museveni. In his Friday tweet, General Muhozi, who is also the commander of the UPDF land forces, said some saboteurs have been misinforming the public that he and President Museveni have differences an allegation which is not true. He hears some saboteurs have been misinforming the public and there is no difference between him and his dad, as he added. He also said President Museven is still and leads him like he always has for the last 47 years. And Almighty God leads their entire family just like he has since the beginning of the time. General Muhozi is one of the possible successors of President Yoel Kaguta Museven. In September this year, Museven said, his son, General Muhozi, did not need to be groomed by him to become Uganda's next president. In an ex exclusive interview with the first 24's Mark Perelman at State House in Tebe, the president revealed that Muhozi's fate could only be decided by the people of Uganda who cast their vote through free and fair general elections. So therefore, why would he groom his son? Those claiming are, are the persons who have never been serious. So the constitution of Uganda is very clear on how one ascends the presidency, as his excellence, Well Kaguta Museven said. And talks about the presidency, uh, Muhozi, the first son, gained prominence when it was brought up by former spy chief, General David Sejusa, who accused his boss, the incumbent Museven, of trying to impose his son onto the people of Uganda, hence the analog, the Muhozi project. President Museven, however, swiftly moved to rule out the allegation as baseless, adding that he did not see any traits of politics in his only son, Muhozi. Consequently, calls for Muhozi to come out and confirm whether he will seek to carry on his father's political legacy have been loud, especially from within the NRM party, with many of his fanatics finding his silence on the matter excruciatingly painful. Commenting on the same, Muhozi distanced himself from the speculations, emphasizing that those that had exhibited Support for his alleged interest in the presidency did not represent his position on the same. He informed that he was committed on his military job, which according to him required a lot of time and hard work. However, in 2020, Muhozi said the phrase, Muhozi project was coined by evil people to try and destroy them, but has since been turned from a curse into a blessing. Some evil people coined it. So since then, there has been sustained online campaign facilitated by events promoter Bala Mubarugahara of selling the Muhozi brand. And several social media influencers have also taken to social media to market Muhoz. In June 2021, Bobby Wine said by consistently promoting General Muhozi Kainerugawa, President Museven was preparing his son to seize power once he, his reign ends. Commenting on the recent changes in the Uganda People's Defense Forces, Leadership Bobby Wine said Museven appointed General Muhozi as commander of land forces and General Peter Eluelu as the chief of defense forces. Well known, the occupiers of such positions usually end up as overall commanders of the army. Muhozi's appointment is consistent with the reports that he is being groomed to seize power once Museven's reign ends and similar to what dictators elsewhere in the country and the African continent, including Gaddafi of Libya, Equatorial Guinea, Chad, and Bashir era, Sudan attempted to do but with little success, the former presidential candidate said in his Facebook statement. And he's also addressing that we may recall how Mohozi promised to beat very badly his father's opponents in 2021 elections. And as commander of their private army, the special force commander Muhozi has been surviving 
uh, supervising the massive abduction, torture, and murder of supporters of the National Unit Platform, and many of whom have since passed on. General Museven recently admitted that Special Force Commander and uh, his son were behind these gruesome crimes. That is according to His Excellency Robert Chagulani. Well, that is it for now. Uh, Sun Muhozi clarifies that he is not at any war with his father, Yuel Fagutam Seven. And thanks for watching Projan Media TV. We're very grateful. And if you haven't subscribed yet, kindly do. And don't forget to turn on the notification button for all these updates.